what just why did it stop? <laughs> Man, uh, I'll be was honest. Just, I, was was getting, I was about to start speaking. I mean, you were getting into. You were like, I was getting into it. Like, it was at a perfect uh-huh. time where you weren't yelling yet. It just, and, and then it just stopped. And Nick's <laughs> mouth just. <laughs> He froze. He just, I saw Michael. Yeah, gasped. Michael was about to inhale to start speaking. Yeah, dude. I wasn't even fucking around that time. What happened? He still doesn't know. <laughs> he He's, has no idea. It's our audio engineer. <laughs> He's a director. Where'd the level. audio go? <laughs> Bring the audio back. What a shock. I don't like that. That's great. Never do that again. Oh, my God. Man, uh, talk about pulling the rug from under you. Give thumbs up. It's, yeah. not, it's happen- not back. It's still not back, though. Okay. Yeah! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to Face Jam, the show where we try every new fast food creation to let you know if you need it, except if it's from Jackbox. You probably do, thanks to DoorDash and HelloFresh for making this show possible. I'm your host, Michael Jones, along with my co-host, Jordan Swears. Jordan, how are you? Good. Nice. Nice. So Once again, the, a, the energy... A rocky start. Yeah, the energy is always... It's always wacky at the top. Mm. Are we doing the intro first this time? Are we doing it at the top, or is this after the episode? Do you not know if we've recorded the episode or not? Oh, that's I right. know. Well, what they don't know is, at this point now, we've already recorded the episode, but Jordan and I recorded it separately, <laughs> right. and then the audio was combined later, right. so he wasn't sure if I had done yeah. my bit, is what he was A lot asking. of people will, yes, will I have. wonder, I have. how do they do the show like that? You might even wonder, why did why did they do the show yeah. like that? Mm-hmm. And the answer is very complicated, and we won't bore yeah, you Yeah, it's it. surprised how well it syncs up. Yep. Like we're in the same room at the same time. Yeah, I know. That's right, Jordan. (laughs) Today we're reviewing Wendy's Big Bacon Cheddar Cheeseburger and Chicky Sandwich. Spicy. Gotta be spicy. Spicy should be default. Yeah, and it is. uh, For us, at least. Yes. Um, We still just like, keep throwing that burger in there. I feel for like some reason it that's needs to that's be the better. charity case. Yeah, We're like, oh, we'll get like, the burger. Well, it comes in two. It's got two options. I guess we'll try both. Yeah, and we're like, we'll maybe maybe one day we'll go. Oh my god, oh, the burger, burger was better, Wendy's, but we won't. No, we never will. No. A- in fact, every time we do it, we go. Why do they make the burger? I, it's true. They should <laughs> be a chicken restaurant. They I'm, should just. Lean into it. Every time we tried to order it today, the guy couldn't believe right. it. No, we're getting right <laughs> oh into boy, it. Yeah, this was something he was, else. He must have been floored the amount of times he asked me four hamburgers. Yeah. So, but the chicken sandwich is right here. That, I mean, he was fine with giving me the chicken sandwich. That was never a question. He didn't ask that ever. <laughs> it took so long for you to order four of the, you know, whatever b- big bacon cheddar cheeseburgers, which there was a big sign behind him. You were like that. He, I want four. he pointed at it himself right. many times. He's like that, and you're like, I want four of those uh-huh. like that, uh-huh. and then four of those but chicken. Mm-hmm. And I I just kept hearing it over and over again, like both of you kept saying it, but we were- it, but it was like you were stuck in a – it was like the end of Doctor Strange. <laughs> where it, it just kept happening over and Dormammu. over again. Dormammu. Yeah, and uh, I, I walked away, and Jordan goes, this is embarrassing. Yeah, we were kind of just standing like off to the side uh, – you know, because usually it takes twenty seconds to order it, I and agree, then we yeah. go, and then we go and sit down. Uh, this was taking too long, and I was kind of like, uh, like did not want to be associated with this anymore. So I you, walked, uh, you're also I saying you don't away. know him. Yeah, yeah. He walked away. I don't know what's going it, on. I I took a picture at one point. Oh and man, it's, it's three people hunched over the computer. And what the picture didn't capture is, I think it was because I took it a second too late. A fourth person thought about yeah. coming over yeah. and then turned around. Like yeah. they got halfway there and went, mm. "Oh, they got it." And yeah. I was just like, "What the hell is happening?" I was telling Michael that the thing that his photo didn't capture well <laughs> is that there was a giant fucking fly on the cash register that was just hanging out <laughs> and Eric just is spreading his arms and just. Wa- I mean, he was taking up as much space as possible. He was just like. Four hamburger? Like he couldn't believe it. it I thought the fly was, was causing problems. Like it was landing on the button. And it's like oh, you thought the fly was reaching over and going frosties. And like hitting the button. Thanks, fly. Yeah. And I'll say, just because we wanted to try them, we threw in some fries because they got new fries now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They uh we didn't want the combos. They have the they have the Coke freestyle machine thing. And uh I don't I don't think I like the Coke freestyle machine thing anymore. Why not? Because I think it gives you weak soda. Oh, I you're think, not a fan of the syrup distribution. Right. Yeah, I yeah. think it's very, it's very thin. It's very weak because they don't want you to use 
just Coke. They want it to be like grape lime Coke. You get in there and there's like 19 different yeah. flavors. Yeah. And I and think I think that's what they're counting on. There's always someone who's going to be like, I'm going to use all the grape. Yeah. And then over the years, they've probably had to adjust the software to like <laughs> only give like a certain percentage so that they're not always at a grape. Who's looking at the data readouts? Because you know there's like data readouts for market research. For I don't know, but sodas. it might be the same person looking at the data readouts about the McDonald's ice cream machines. Mm, yeah. I've heard about that. Because that was something. In fact, hmm? there's even, wait, I'm getting something. What are you getting? Do you hear that? No. Will it start playing and then stop? Well, we can only know for sure once we hear it. Hang on. Buttons are being pushed. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, hang, on, hang on, hang on. It must be way over there. <laughs> it's, very, it's very low and far I'm, away. I'm, I'm sure it'll be much louder by the time this It's like drinking a LaCroix. It's like an idea of something in the next room. Is that... <laughs> the fuck is this? All right, hold on. Hold on. We, gotta wait for the whole, news. we gotta wait for the whole thing. It's done. And oh, it's done. Was, it's okay. done because it was going... <laughs> It was half over anyway, by the yeah. time we heard it. Yeah, yeah, there was 45 seconds before we even heard it, and then it started going. <laughs> <laughs> the news started over there, and it was just it was letting us know. It was, it was know. just a guy running <laughs> and carrying papers. <laughs> I got okay. Thank you, sir. He's finally here. He's winded. What the fuck is this? All right, we got a Face Jam news update. Uh, 20 years after the world was brought to its knees by the McMillian scandal, the fast food conglomerate is once again making headlines. This time it doesn't have to deal with fixing a sweepstakes, but more so what they can't seem to fix. Whoa! Their broken ass ice cream machines. Who wrote this, Gracie? Oh, you got rid of her. I got, yeah. Real quiet here today yeah. from the corner. Uh, so weird. It's such a fan favorite that last episode. Hey, Gracie. Yeah, where's she at? Uh, um, oh, interesting. She, she could, I don't I guess know. she couldn't make it today it's or ever weird. again. Weird. He, Eric just kept saying, she's friends with Ariel. Yeah. And I, I don't know. <laughs> and I was oh. like, what does that mean? And he kept <laughs> oh. Uh, a broken ice cream machine at McDonald's is as iconic as their Big Mac. It has arguably made a greater cultural impact than any advertising campaign or overly friendly clown character. We all know the pain of going to McDonald's on a hot summer day, craving frozen confections to curb the oh onset of heat exhaustion, only to be met with a sign on the drive through menu reading, ice cream machine broken. And of course, clinging to that last bit of hope, you try to order an Oreo McFlurry anyway, just in case the machine is working again, and the 16-year-old working their size and reiterates for the thousandth time that that day, no, the machine is not working. This is the guy who didn't want to do his haiku last time, but he wrote well, a I mean, he did do it. Enter he did a new hero, it. the Federal Trade Commission, who has this started a preliminary new, investigation. A new hero? His last show didn't into get pissed off. <laughs> into why these dang things are never working. It turns out at the core of it, it's an issue of franchisees being uh, legally unable to work on them. Why are the machines so complicated? Mm -hmm. Is it intentional so that the manufacturer can make more money on repair costs? What is McDonald's hiding? Will we have to invade Iraq again? Oh, no. <laughs> Hit it again, Nick. What? We're still in it. We're hang on. The news already broke. Oh, hang we got on. more breaking news in the middle of this breaking news story. <laughs> what the Hold fuck? Papers Page are, two. Papers are shuffling. He's already here. Okay. Hang on. You have to let it play out. That's true. I like this part. It's getting louder? <laughs> yes. He, he slowly tapped the button on the, <laughs> on the laptop. I saw him tapping the volume up button. Oh, my God. I, that's how you know the news is getting closer. <laughs> I've just been handed a report. Grimace's identity revealed? Since his introduction into the Mick universe in 1972, people have been wondering, what the heck even is Grimace? Uh -huh. He's purple, he's round, he's squishy, but it's unclear how he fits into a line of characters such as Cheeseburger Mayor and Moon Man with sunglasses. <laughs> Well, now we have an answer. According to Brian Bates, a manager of McDonald's in uh -huh. Canada, Grimace is in fact an enormous taste bud, but a taste bud nonetheless. McDonald's had no comment, but has apparently hinted in the past that Grimace may be taste bud in origin. Tweeting in 2012, he was, quote, the embodiment of a milkshake, though others insist he is a taste bud. No word on who these others are who are so insistent, but whatever. Uh, to answer the most burning question of why, Brian Bates said the purpose of Grimace is to show the food tastes good. That's the purpose? That's the purpose? Well, let's think about what else they aren't <laughs> telling us about Grimace. Why is he purple? Why did he originally go by Evil Grimace and have four arms? This reporter suspects the culprit is retconning of the highest caliber, plain and simple. Wow. 
While the timing of this revelation is suspect, one could argue McDonald's is throwing Grimace under the bus in the midst of the ice cream machine scandal. It does really explain why Whataburger has yet to make Grimace their mascot and really who can blame them. <laughs> Hang on, bra- page three. What? This is breaking. <laughs> What? Oh, that was and that's the news. <laughs> oh, oh boy. But, so is, is Grim so a what you, is a taste bud? Th- so we know what you did on Labor Day. So that was a lot of information. Oh, I, did <laughs> I did that while drinking Eric's coffee it's this like, morning. <laughs> that was a lot of information about McDonald's, the restaurant we didn't go to. Well, it today. wasn't that much information either. <laughs> All I know is their machines are broken, and I didn't learn anything else. Actually. We're going back I already, to Iraq. I learned nothing more than the headline because they got the. First, yep. we got the oil, then we need the soft serve. Is yep. that what's happening? Yep. I just think they it's got the ice cream in the ground. Operation Ice Creamy Freedom. Oh. The real story here is them throwing Grimace under the bus, like trying to make a distraction. That's fine. They don't want us to know the truth. Kill the Grimace. I don't care. It's not theirs he's to a, kill. He's a taste bud. Is it, what does who? I don't what? know. <laughs> He this might is, be. They, they should have made him well, orange. Well, I mean, clearly, I'm he's shell not, shocked. He's not a taste bud. He's Cowabunga. the <laughs> the embodiment of a milkshake. You know, purple. <laughs> what the fuck? Pear shaped and purple. I don't blame Whataburger for not doing anything with Grimace. What he's supposed yeah, to fucking. This really do that does thing. answer at least that question. Mm-hmm. And and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that breaking news report, Jordan. Both of them. Mm-hmm. The news never sleeps. Uh huh. Do you think we're getting a haiku for this episode or no? Absolutely. Oh, okay. That's uh, good. What? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh-huh. How many times have we done Wendy's now? Like a hundred? This is the third time we've done Wendy's. First three peep. <laughs> <laughs> this week. He meant this week. Uh-huh. Damn. <laughs> never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Oh boy, Wendy's, Wendy's, Wendy's. Oh, Wendy. Uh, past experience with Wendy's. All right, let me let's let's clear the air with this one. Yeah. Um, I'm a little pissed off at Wendy's. Yeah. They they canned the pretzel pub after almost a year. Mm-hmm. I think it lasted about ten months, mm-hmm. and then uh, there were signs. There were on, signs on the on like the menu. <sighs> They weren't, that didn't come first, unfortunately. Oh. The first sign was I ordered it uh, ahead of time and went to pick it up, got it, got home, no pretzel bun. Oh, Every, really? Everything else was there, was assembled, and I went, how the fuck do you fuck up without the pretzel bun? Mm-hmm. And then, as the days went oh. on, I realized they were phasing it out, and I was like, oh my god, they must have got rid of that like first. ingredient mm-hmm. by ingredient. Yes. And so they would still make the bare bone sandwich, which... The pretzel bun, huge part. It's a huge yeah. part of it. Uh, is there, it's the star. Yeah, Do you really think is. there's like a pretzel bun shortage we're not aware of? I think, it was, a, I think it was a manufactured shortage. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't think. Um, like OPEC withholding oil. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's exactly like mm-hmm. that. Okay. Um, like in 2020, not having ivermectin available to the general public when it could have stopped this whole thing before it even started. Right. Right. Let's wait almost two years mm-hmm. and then find out. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is rub some of this shit on your teeth and you're fine. Toothpaste style? Toothpaste oh. style. Mm-hmm. It goes it can go in either end, from mm-hmm. what I understand. Mm-hmm. Again, toothpaste style. Uh or you can just you know, get the the tablet. Mm-hmm. But if you get the tablet, you miss out on the horse on the box. That's true. And, and it, so, and I heard I that want that part. I heard that they do f- like there's flavors, so your horse will like it, or your kids will like it, or right. maybe you like it. Well, that's it. the bubble thing. gum. Now, let, now here's they the got thing. apple flavor. Oh, for horses, the horses. Yeah, that horses. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. Sure, you're because right. again, because it's horse medicine. Yeah, yeah. Is it green apple though? Ooh, might be. I'm not that's sure. What I want to know. Horses probably like green apple or sour apple. Yeah, I like my Ooh, horse medication. Apple. Like I like my blow pops. <laughs> <laughs> sour, sour apple, apple. <laughs> and with and with gum in the middle. Oh, <laughs> I hope there's. I'm chewing something. <laughs> so, if you're like us and you don't like bugs, uh huh, <laughs> take a dewormer. That's. <laughs> That I think that this was all a plot from Ivermectin to be like, all these horses are so healthy. We have no, there's none of these horses are filled with bugs anymore. How do we move this product? How do we move all this product? We'll just tell people that they should take it. And then it went too far. And now everyone's taking it all the time. Parasites or no, yeah. people are taking it. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, it could be preventative. Do we know? 
It's like it's like the vest you want to have it before. That's exactly. I hadn't even considered. Exactly. You wanna, this this might you be the worm vest. before this is you the have worm one. starts coming in and it gets bounced at the door. This no, is, no, no, no. <laughs> it's really it is the this vest isn't a place of for medicines. You. It's really wow. Yep. And so that ties in perfectly with the pretzel pub. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that what we were talking about? That's what we were talking about. And I'm mad. And I don't. I wanna, take Z packs. I don't. It's fine. I don't want to go to Wendy's now. To be fair, like they don't have anything you want. Well, like I used to go to Wendy's, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I'd get the spicy chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. That's why I would go. And then the pretzel bulb came out, and it changed the world forever. There was not only nothing else to get, but I would drop everything to go get it. And now it feels like a piece has been ripped from me. And I'm like, what's the point of even going if I can't get this sandwich? Fuck you, Wendy's, you motherfucker. Yeah, because the thing that they replaced it, like the first thing that they had that was like the new thing, but then that's when we learned that like the pretzel pub was sticking around, is that jalapeno popper sandwich. And I've had that like, I think like twice. And it's just like, oh yeah. It's It's fine. I mean, that came out a while ago. Yeah, They had both of those. It's still there. Then they came out with the barbecue bacon burger. Mm -hmm. The real, I'll say, Mm -hmm. in my opinion, pretzel pub killer. Is this thing we're yeah. eating today? It really just seems like they the big, they made room. They cleared for the it. way for the big bacon cheddar cheeseburger, and I was like, I don't know, big bacon cheddar cheeseburger. You got a hell of a fucking gap to fill, it's you true. piece of shit. It's true. Fuck you. But why make the pub burger a permanent fixture on the menu if you're just gonna kill it to piss me off? Yeah, I think it's I, just specifically I think to, it's piss just to piss me off. That's it. They gave us they like got me. they gave us the win, and we were like, finally, we did it. We're heroes. Yeah, mm. dude. I mean, we're still heroes, but you know, obviously, yeah. Uh, that but but now revoked. they're just making us look silly. They, I'll be honest, they became the villains. Wow, this is this is the arc. Honestly, Dave Thomas would never. He, it's probably. I'll, I'll just I'll just say it. It's probably a good thing he's gone. It's uh, I he's mean, lucky. Look he's what gone. Ha- look what happened. <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. Look what happened without. <laughs> Dave around to be a father figure Falling to apart. Wendy. Falling Look apart. what she's become. Look what you did. Dave you wanna, is lucky. You wanna, you wanna <laughs> say, do you think your father would be proud of you for this? Mm-hmm. And I'm shaking the, the pretzel pub, mm-hmm. shaking it in my hand, going, what were you thinking? It's the one that you have in your freezer? What were yeah. you thinking? It's like, the one that you yeah, said. It's, I, I sniff it. Yeah. There right? Was... I can never eat it. Which also leads me to, have you seen that Wendy's chair? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's kind of like a beanbag looking chair, but it comes back around and like gives you a wig. Yeah, it's Why? it's got a spine that bends <laughs> and they... droops, and so yeah, you like you look like a. Uh, Have you, you not up, seen this? You end up looking like a brain slug. Like, yeah, like you Wendy position is tapping into you your like brain. position your head <laughs> under it, and it's supposed to give you like a Wendy's wig, but also mm-hmm. it's not adjustable, and so yeah. I imagine so it's I mean, very you gotta, height. You got to do a lot of work to make it to make it look good. Yeah, he already found oh, it. And he's, yeah. So, and how, um, what, where's ours? How is that comfortable? Give give them to us. Wait, wait. You're saying that Wendy's is the villain, but you want the chair? Yeah. Oh. Well, this is how they can repent. Yeah. They can. That, look how comfortable can, that guy looks. They can start by sending us four chairs. Send us four chairs. Well, that's a start. Yeah. One of the things, that's how you open. It mentions, you open dialogue yep. with chairs. Did you see this? One of shit. one of the uses oh. is uh, start a podcast. Yeah. Guess what? Continue a podcast. Yeah. Wendy's make the it's po- for enhance us. a podcast. They just wanted yep. us to talk about it, and mm-hmm. here we are. Yep. You evil fucks. You know what? I'm going on their You're Discord. Right. <gasps> I'm gonna have a word. Oh. No. As soon as I find a you link should to make it. Your, as soon as someone hey, invites me to you it, you should make your your PFP. The pretzel pub sandwich and see if you get banned. Whoa. See if you get banned right yeah, They away. won't even let you in. Yeah, they're like, all right, it's troublemaker here. Yeah. Yep. This guy's coming in to start trying trouble. To, trying to bury me. And they're like, have you tried the bacon cheddar cheeseburger? And mm. then you just start spamming poop emojis. Oh, no. <laughs> really sticking to them. Yeah, but you do that at the Jack in the Box one and they're like for it. They they're love like, it. Yeah, dude. they think oh, that's yeah. cool. It's where you spam the poop emojis and they just keep putting the mouth with the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> They they go new new menu item. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark in here. <laughs> Where is everyone? And that's our past experience with the restaurant. Yep. Ugh. Yep. It's, uh... That felt also like wetting our whistle. To be honest, no, I think we wet. We are about twenty like minutes. In I feel like you point. took that. Yeah, I think I think there's a lot of wetting whistles with news. If I had to be honest, it's we learned about grimace and his taste bud. 
wet little grimace or whatever. You guys want a haiku? You could probably slide oh that whistle my god. anywhere. Oh, oh my god. You gotta... It's called Wendy's 2. Okay. This is the third one, but okay. This is the second haiku. <laughs> That's He's you know what point. you know what you're right salient point Jordan. This Thank guy you. doesn't know how Roman numerals work. <laughs> <laughs> Ode to pub sandwich. Here one day and gone the next. Fleeting is our lives. Wait, I felt like that was only two lines. What was the first line? Ode to pub sandwich. Oh, I thought that was the title of the no. haiku. I He's literally said this one was called Wendy's Two. Yeah, he did. He did say the title, and then you I even questioned maybe, it. I thought maybe it was a Rocky and Bo Winkle situation where there's two oh, titles. Christ. I thought that's okay. what it was. Um, <laughs> hey, you wanted it back. I yeah, it'll be interesting when I have to tell people about my midlife crisis being the pub <laughs> taken away. It's like suddenly life seems much more fragile. I know, right? Walking listlessly from room to room. You don't know until it. it's gone. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Didn't even know. though even though there's no regrets, I feel like we ate that thing as much as humanly possible. Mm. I wish we would have eaten it there, more. There there are people that are like, "Ah, oh, I didn't try it." Yep. And I'm just like, "Don't don't talk to like, me. Like honestly, don't, don't like f f f keep it to your fucking self if yeah. you never tried it. I yeah. don't want to hear it. That they're Fuck lucky cuz they didn't lose it. Yeah, wow. that's I don't want to hear that. Better nonsense. do have I only lost. had ten months. There are plenty of other. How spicy was I supposed to make it down the street? You make me sick. Fucking disgusting little pigs. Yeah, you're you're in the pig kingdom. So yep. get out. <laughs> Bugs, Bugs only. only. Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Although we've ostracized the worms. The worms. Yeah, there the worms. is no. Yeah, yeah. Heart the worms have no place uh -uh. here. Either. No, no heartworms. Yeah. We're all taking horse medicine. We're big and strong like horses. That's all. We're just big and strong like horses. Yeah, absolutely. Let's mm. get on to some facts. Let's do it. Our previous Little Caesars episode <laughs> was released yeah. July 6th, 2021. <laughs> yeah, I missed that one. Where we ate the bourbon bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it received an average score of 76.75, which is not as high as the pretzel pop cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, <laughs> when I when I duplicated, I missed that. See one. what happened was I I drank some of his coffee. Is, uh, see, <laughs> writing the news when I was chasing Jordan around for my coffee, I went. Yeah. That's where I had stopped, and I came back, and I went. Well, that must be where I am. Oh boy. <laughs> Speaking of the pretzel pub chicken sandwich, Wendy's has become a hero denier by removing the pretzel pub from its regular menu. Thus. Undercutting everything this podcast has worked for. We're back at square one. It's yeah. pathetic. A and square it's a hamburger. square burger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man, it's like a square. <laughs> Circle gets the square. All right. When I... This is Eric. When <laughs> I went to order the pretzel pub chicken sandwich a couple of days ago, the woman taking my order was confused and eventually gave me an Asiago chicken sandwich, which was not what I ordered. And now I have reason to believe that Wendy's is actively working to sabotage this podcast. Asiago chicken of all the things. Yeah. There's even a new chicken sandwich and you gave me an Asiago. I even a couple times when the pub was around, I mm -hmm. got that chicken popper. one. Yeah. 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 And it's like they're they're really working against us. It's not like it hasn't been gone that long. No, like did she just start working she here? Just went, no, like, I think what they did it was, was like it's, what, a, it's a it's a full scale mind wipe, Jordan. Yep. that's what I was going to say. They, they, they got ever existed. They got they got men in black. They did. It was old school though. They sat them down in the room and they, and they, got they worms just they just in that movie. They just spun mm -hmm. a wheel. Wow, they got the worms in they the movie spun a wheel. and they. Wipe their mind. Tommy Lee Jones is there. Mm -hmm. he's, the, he's the big worm. He's the big worm. He's a giant worm. That's what they call him. TLJ, the big worm. Mm -hmm. That's what he's known as. <laughs> the Asiago chicken sandwich is not very good. It's just okay. Oh, I mean, it's their chicken, no. so it's fine. I mean, it's their chicken, so it's fine. But like, but how's the Asiago? I don't know what the Asiago is supposed to be because it's it fun just, to say though. Yeah, but because it just had like a like off a, we go. It just had like a mayonnaise kind of on it. It was like kind of like, what? It was, it was like whack. I don't know. That is whack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wendy's also recently announced that they are changing their French fry recipe, stating that, quote, the new French fries have been redesigned to stay hot and crispy for up to 30 minutes after being taken out of the fryer, which is better than their old recipe where the fries were designed to not be very good at <laughs> all. <laughs> um, I, their fries were fine. <laughs> They weren't the worst fries, but they were not good fries. They weren't Burger King bad, but I don't think no, that they were. No, they, they, they weren't. Anything they weren't, can be Burger King they bad. They weren't good fries. No. And maybe like In-N-Out. 
Yeah. Well, Man, who knows? Yeah. I, I always thought they were Only a little one underrated. Only one way to find out. What, Wendy's? You think Wendy's had underrated fries? Yeah, I always I think they them. were perfectly rated. Uh, yeah, low. Incredibly low. I would say, look at this, mid-low. Opinions maybe. coming together. Well, What but, is the show about but if now, not that? And we're not rating them, so we can talk about the fries. Right. Some. They're way better now. They're absolutely They're better. They're way better So we now. got the fries, let's just try them. Mm. <laughs> and Jordan was the first one. He, we all grabbed them. He took a bite. He went, those are the same fries. And I just went, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> this guy's wrong. He also won't listen to us when we're saying they're a different shape. They are slightly, they're they they're are slightly a different. slightly different shape. They're slightly they different. are a different. And then he scoffed like we wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the pretzel pub boys. The guys who went there okay. 140 times. Who's 90% of text history is just pictures <laughs> of a sandwich. Just, it really is. Just sandwich, 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 other. sandwich, sandwich. It's just, <laughs> it's just sandwiches back and forth broken up by, hey, do you want to hang out this weekend? Yeah, man, see you here. All right, cool. Sandwich, 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 sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> and when it, was, it was a vicious cycle because one would always yes, make the it, other one get one, the sandwich. One begat the other I'd every go, time. Oh, he's eating the sandwich? Yeah. I'm mad. And yeah. I'd go get the sandwich. And then I would do this. He would send it and I'd just go, fuck. And I'd order it on the app and I would go pick it up. Sounds like it's a gorgeous looking sandwich. Sounds it's like so another good. restaurant could swoop in and be <gasps> the hero if they just Whoa. introduced the exact same thing. Yeah. Who? Who Take could the pretzels. do Who could do it with the chicken sandwich though? I don't know. Hard to hard to say. Like a P. Terry situation? Or are we talking like global? Are we talking like bigger? Because Wendy's is the number two burger restaurant I mean, in the U.S. I mean, Sonic has pretzels. Nah, maybe you just you chop them up into a can. bun. Maybe I don't know. reform them. I don't, know how, I don't know how pretzels work, but I'm, I'm just go, saying. I, you, I, you started the whole thing with I don't know and then started giving ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's way, that way I can't be yeah, attacked. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You smart. Know, it's... I don't I'm, know what, listen, full, I don't know what the fuck defense. I'm talking about, so here's my plan. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you question it, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and finally, the last of the first repeat. In June of this year, Wendy saw its stock sharply rise due to R slash Wall Street bets claiming it is, quote, the perfect stock for this sub, only to have the stock quickly fall. This was all part of the plan and actually very smart according to the weird coworker you have that you only see in virtual meetings now, so sometimes you forget he even exists. <laughs> I was going to make fun of people that work at GameStop and then mm -hmm. I went, "No, GameStop was the original thing." That's right. yeah, no. Yeah. No. It's just people who and so, and some people made money on that. Yeah. Like a lot of money. Right. Some people. Very few people. Most people didn't. No. Most people are still on. The people who made money don't go to the sub anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the people still on that the, sub the are, people, are yes. trying to get. The people who to are make the up money. voting and going, diamond hands, diamond hands. Those are the people who work at Hot Topic and Spencer's Gifts right now. So, sorry, right. guys. Well, they're what we call in America a temporarily embarrassed millionaire. That's true. Whoa. Yeah. I call them uh, forever embarrassing human people. They are. Uh, I agree with that. Yeah. I don't think they're. Oof. They're I'm not short. a. I'm not a stock guy. Mm -hmm. I You're a stocky guy. Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I'm a strong, mm -hmm. round guy. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like Grimace. Um, <laughs> very much like Grimace. People say I'm decently tasting. It's um, a even of a milkshake. <laughs> but uh, if I were to go in yeah. on some sort of stock, mm -hmm. I'd probably buy more than four. Yeah, no, just in any case. But, but I guess I guess the problem is when your discretionary income is one hundred and twelve dollars. That's really all right, you've got. Just throw to play whatever with. you can at yeah. it. You can't buy the limited edition Call of Duty that comes with the statue. You have to just, uh, I guess, spend it on three stocks and go Diamond Hands, Ape Strong together, mm -hmm. and then hope that everyone makes you. Rich. I don't even know what you're saying. That's that's how that's how it works. I'm saying I'm glad. Yeah. That. I, that should I invest in diamond? <laughs> is that is that is what this, you're trying is to tell? Is where I become a stock guy? Uh -oh. How's ivermectin? It's oh, can I put money in there? Oh, it's way up because yeah. <laughs> you give. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You give me oh, the no. money. Oh no, I've been buying ivermectin. I should be buying ivermectin stocks. <laughs> yep. You give me oh, no. the and money because that I'll, still yeah. get the worms out. Uh -huh. Can I eat the stocks? Yeah, if you get the stocks, you print out the paper and then you <laughs> eat the stocks, and the worms go. Oh no, he's a broker. He's and a this made guy, man. He knows. <laughs> He's one of the owners. Ah! And they get out. The diamond hands come in and just yeah. ring the <laughs> they worms. They ring the worms. <laughs> then you have ring worms. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have worms. It's true. It's just different. It's different. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Did you learn a lot? 
I learned were you that talking to me? Apparently we're being sabotaged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I knew that before the fact sheet. See? It's I knew true. that the second I got to Wendy's and the they didn't sell the pub burger anymore. Yeah. And and like like when your child goes missing and you know they're dead, mm-hmm. but you're mm-hmm. just like, no, they'll turn up. They'll you're they'll turn up. You hope. do the you do the press conferences where they're where yeah. you're like Billy, if you're out there, and you go, bro, Billy's dead. Like he's <laughs> in the ground, or he's in the mm-hmm. water, he's mm-hmm. in a lake, or something. That was me when I went to Wendy's, and they were temporarily out of it because they just took random stickers and mm-hmm. put it on the board. But if you read them, it was like like a promotional sticker. Yeah, and it it didn't they, signify it was out. Nope. But but you got the gist that they were like, we got to. Cover we don't this have up. this. I mean, frankly, then it's I, a cover up. It's a cover up. Literally. Then I went back Literally like two days later, and they had rolled out the official fuck off. We don't have this anymore. Yep. And that's like getting the call saying yeah. we found the body. Yeah. Oh no. So I held out hope foolishly. Stanley Tucci did it the whole time. You fucking knew it. Oh, you knew man. it was the that's damn real, the you, rhino. You knew it was the well, no, no. That's that's that Paul Giamatti. Paul <laughs> that's what you said. Oh. No, I said Stanley Tucci. They're different human men. White? Uh, yeah. Short? Uh-huh. Same guy. Is that- <laughs> Both called the rhino? <laughs> <laughs> By me? Oh, oh. You thought I was talking about Spider-Man. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you, just, oh, man, you that's his nickname. Oh, you call Stanley Tucci I the don't. rhino? <laughs> I don't. I've just that's heard. Just Stanley called. the Rhino Tucci? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Remember in Captain America, they kept calling him the rhino? When he was making the serum for me, I mean Steve Rogers, <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I think this picture, it's picture the Tooch inside of a giant rhino costume, going, hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh, Stanley Tucci has a show on HBO Max where he just goes across like Italy, and it's just mm-hmm. called Finding Italy. But I think he's just there. So I don't, he found it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it was, it was like... He found uh, Italy? Yeah. He wanted to go on vacation, but he was like, mm. I bet I can swindle someone to pay for mm. this. I wonder how I can get through Italy without paying much money. That's my Stanley Tucci. Incredible. Oh. Thank you. Honestly, They I'm, call me the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there a rhino strong, here? Stronger than a horse. <laughs> I feel like he... What are you used to he, deworm a rhino? Just that. Way more ivermectin? Is it just more? Yeah. Or a very, very healthy horse. Right, I was gonna say a whole uh, horse. Yeah, yeah. A horse yeah. yeah, yeah. You think okay. you think okay. you grind the horse? You feed eating. the horse ivermectin, I'm, then I'm you grind him down the pace. I'm gonna start eating horses just to be safe, <laughs> just in case the Tucci comes around. There's a way we like can him. get involved with Stanley Tucci with HBO Max, the way we did with Selena and Chef. Do you think in, we can, in Italy? We just gotta talk about it. <laughs> All right, uh, right. Put yeah, on, put it on Manifest your vision it. board. We could make. I mean, I just started talking about it. You think we can just get it going? Like, I want to say something like. Tickling my Tucci. Mm. What does it mean? You know what I mean? Like, that tickles my Tucci. Mm. Do you think? And then it's just us tickling Stanley Tucci. Do you think? <laughs> right. But you are, should you tickle a rhino? Oh. Now I'm concerned. You mess with the rhino, you get the horn. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm, I'm gotta, I, gotta, I gotta keep working on this somehow. Okay. I gotta see how we can get the Tucci involved. If anyone knows Stanley, if Stanley Tucci's like your uncle, can you let mm-hmm. us know? That'd be great. Thank you. Just see if he'll come on. Fun fact, he's married to Emily Blunt's sister. So he's like brother-in-law Whoa, with, with John wow. Kaczynski. Wow. So there's, so there's the office connection. That Damn. I'm sure Technically, everyone he's is connected. not brother-in-law with him. He's sister-in-law with, with Emily Blunt, Emily Blunt and that's sister. it. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. you, the in-law doesn't extend to the husband mm-hmm. of the in-law. Yeah, they're not related. They hate each other. Right, like Emily Blunt is his sister-in-law. John right. Krasinski's- Her husband doesn't become his brother-in-law. Yeah, Krasinski's natural enemy is the rhino. Yeah. What would, you, he's what would you call yeah, him? Like, husband in law? I don't think you call him. I, anything. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think there's a. <laughs> I think ter- it's just my sister in law's husband. husband. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, but that's so wordy. I'm just saying. You come I, up with I, a I word. Think for I, it's got to stop somewhere, right? <laughs> no, I think like, it needs to keep going. The, the I think hus- it should the never sister-in-law's stop. Sister in law's husband's cousin is that your si- husband's in law's cousin? My neighbor's law? uncle's dog works at yeah. Nintendo. Yeah, I think John Krasinski should say that Stanley Tucci is his brother. I think he should just just call him brother, son. Yep. Wow. No, they're the same age. Short and yeah, but the height difference alone. Yeah. This is little Stanley, little Stan- the, the classic, r- the rhino. Yeah. <laughs> this is little Stanley, the rhino. Did you know he actually played the monsters in Quiet Place? What? You just didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> when, when John Krasinski gets gored to death at the end, you can actually yeah, hear yeah. him say, hey, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, 
I'm oh, technically no, the rhino. I'm not your brother. Yeah. <laughs> You're my wife's brother in law. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, this is this is why I have to do this. <laughs> I'll be honest, weird casting for the monsters. Weird to have the two yeah, sure. I'll take it. I like it. Good job. We couldn't tell it was him until the end of the movie, yeah. but the second one starts and it's Stanley Tucci and it's Stanley everywhere. Tucci and he's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I remember screaming, did Stanley Tucci just hit that car? Was that a rhino? Whoa. No, that was Stanley Tucci. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rhinos hate feedback. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we first started talking about uh, Stanley Tucci... <laughs> <laughs> didn't think it would go this long. Never, you never know where we're going to yep. go. Yep. Uh, to the that, winding road we walk. We're yep. spitting silly. Yeah, that's Ooh. it. Oh, we spat all right. All yeah, right. no kidding. Hey, look, we understand. You got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, accounts to migrate. You know, what's the secret to clearing your to-do list? Step number one, don't be Eric. But step number two, a little help from DoorDash. Why did you open? Hey oh. guys! Oh man, sorry. I'm like I had all these errands oh. to run and meetings to, to take care of. Did I'm you trying migrate to, your I'm accounts? trying to migrate Eric's account. I don't know well, what it means, but I put it somewhere else. That makes sense. Well, don't worry, because you can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list. That's right, delivered thanks to DoorDash. Oh, that would save so much time for me. Can I order Eric's food too? If you want, but then just don't give it to him. Right. Well, uh, order it for me and have two, two meals. Get what you want to eat and what Eric wants to eat right now, right to your, not his door, with DoorDash. <laughs> Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. You get drinks, snacks, household items, I feel like I made that part clear, in under one hour. Under an hour? Yes. If one hour and five minutes is too long, don't worry. You're good. Craving late night ice cream? Yeah, we know you are. Forget that one key ingredient for dinner, or maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, you get everything in one app. That's right. You don't have to bounce around like a maniac going through multiple apps. You know, this from this and that from there. Who's keeping track? And you're paying, like, so many delivery fees? No, all one convenient place, DoorDash. And guess what? They're locked and loaded, okay? Because they have over 300,000 partners. So you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's Chipotle and Cheesecake Factory. Cool. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think that's really convenient. I watched and you I, think I and, look you, forward, and you were nodding your head in I approval look, immediately. I look forward to ordering from Cheesecake Factory for me and Eric. Mm -hmm. But the food's just for you. Right. And then I place it next to me on the table and go, here you go, Eric, and then also eat it. Oh. And it's great because ordering is so easy. Your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop-off. So it's just, oh, and then your food's there. You got to make that sound what yourself. Was, what was that sound, though? That's the magic happening. Oh. You open the door. It's not there. You close it. You open it again. Oh. And then there it is. Food for Classic you. Classic magic and, sound. And Eric. The universal magic sound. Asterisk. At the bottom, yeah, it says, not, me. Eric food not intended for consumption by Eric. <laughs> for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code FACEJAM2021. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order. All you got to do is download the DoorDash app in the App Store, which is where you get the apps and enter code facejam twenty. 21. That's what year it is right now. Unless you're listening to this several months from now. That was last year. But you could still try that code. Although we might have a new code by then. I'm assuming DoorDash, you know, still, you know, big supporter of Face Jam. Oh, yeah. Probably changed their code and updated it. But they for probably, now, they probably just, changed their name to Face Dash. Probably. But for now, let's just focus on the code they did give us, which is Face Jam 2021. <laughs> right. I, I'm following you. I'm not confused at all. No. I know what the code is. Absolutely. And that code is Face Jam 2021. Right. 25% <laughs> off your first order with DoorDash until next year. Who knows how much off, you know? It Pro is subject probably. to change in terms to apply. <laughs> hey, guys, sorry. I just, I had back-to-back -back meetings. Did anyone order me my food? I already did this bit. <sighs> this is this awkward. Is, yeah. 
This is awkward. It's awkward for multiple reasons. Do you reasons. see that food over there? That's yours. Don't touch it! Oh, man. It's got an asterisk on it. <laughs> hey, look. We know. Fall is busy. But HelloFresh recipes save time you'd otherwise spend meal planning, shopping, and chopping. Oh, all that shopping, chopping. Don't even look at me if you want me to chop, okay? But with HelloFresh, you can get back to what matters. Uh, and for me, that's eating minus doing all that other stuff. So I just get the HelloFresh, right. I make the HelloFresh, and someone says, wow, this is amazing, this is delicious. How much did you chop? And I, and I say, zero! Zero chops! And they, they think I'm lying. Now I'm being perpetuated as a liar. But I hold up HelloFresh and I go, no, it's HelloFresh. And they say, and go, oh, that's all the proof I needed. They do chop-free hassle. And yeah. I said, that's right, they do. This is what matters. Right. Speaking of fall, the fall harvest is officially on with HelloFresh. Count on seasonal recipes like pumpkin cinnamon rolls oh. and friends giving ready sides, as well as fresh, high-quality ingredients that travel from the farm to your front door in less than a week. Dude, it's pumpkin season. It is. Get those PSLs. Get those PCRs, pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. I'll ride that. Pumpkin me up. Let's give him pumpkin to talk about. Turn me into a pumpkin because I'm spicy with HelloFresh. spice. <laughs> Look, here's, let's get to the skinny of it, right? I don't want to go to the store. I don't want to be spending my I'm time. I'm not leaving my house. Buying all these groceries, you know? It's, and it's like. It's fall. It's I'm snuggled costly. up in a sweater. And then, uh, and then you put yourself on a time frame. When am I going to make it? HelloFresh once a week shows up. I know what I'm eating for dinner. Taken care of. I know I have just the right amount. Nothing's going to like sit out, sit around forever and go bad. I'm going to use it when it's fresh. I'm going to eat it and maybe get pumped up a little bit. Pumpkin. With pumpkin, yeah. yeah, yeah, pumped up. Pumped that's up, that's what we call up. it. Yeah, getting pumped up. Uh huh. And then uh, Eric afterwards turns back into a rat <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> Look, I'm what, always. What's his slipper made I out of? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> uh, stinky cheese. Oh yeah, stinky cheese. I'm slipper. All, you we you've heard us. We're we've done the Hello Fresh, right? We order it, we eat it. No fuss. <laughs> Right? No fuss, no butts, no coconuts. Well, unless you want coconut. You can, there's definitely coconut They, they got some options. coconut dishes that are really good, actually. So if you, too, want to eat that and turn Eric back into a rat, go to HelloFresh.com <laughs> slash FaceJam14 and use code FaceJam14 for up to, wait for it, 14 free meals, including free shipping. 14 free meals with free shipping. Why wouldn't you try it? it 14 just, free meals. Imagine how many... Times you get pumped up with 14 you free can, meals. I mean, yeah, I would just, I mean, recommend don't get 14 pumpkin dishes unless you're super into it. But that's fine. That's up to you. I'm not, I'm not tracking your order yeah. yet. But if someone says, by the way, so and so ordered 14 pumpkins, I'm going to ask questions. Yeah. That's all also, I'm if you do order 14 pumpkin meals, let us know. Yeah. And send the proof. Don't lie. Go to HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam14 and use code FaceJam14 for up to 14 free meals, pumpkin or not, including free shipping. I don't know why they call it a vanity URL because it, I ain't vain. This, okay. is, this is hero's work. Yeah. Hey guys, I just got done doing all your chopping. Do you have the PCRs no, ready? No, you didn't need to chop at all, what? you idiot. Ah! HelloFresh. You were supposed to be making the PCRs. I'm going to go turn into a rat. Back into a rat. Yeah. Who told you? Hey, take me home first. Yeah, I need a ride. <laughs> All right, everyone hop on. It's past my curfew. <laughs> Why did we do these so late? <laughs> uh, something, something. Go to HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam. Use code FaceJam14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Let's get into some explanations about this food. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy's Big Bacon Cheddar Cheeseburger. A quarter pound, asterisk, of fresh, never-frozen beef covered in a creamy cheddar cheese and bacon jam topped with applewood smoked bacon, crispy onions, and a slice of American cheese, all on a pillow-soft toasted cheddar bun. We're calling it our cheesy bacony masterpiece, but you could just call it delicious if you want. I'm not calling it that. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'll call yeah. it by its I'll call it by its Christian name. Thank you. The, na the name Dave Thomas <laughs> handed down. Dave Thomas Funder. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about that. Did, did you see that? The, it, there were uh, 
above one of the seats, there's oh, a quote oh, from yeah, Dave yeah, Thomas, yeah, yeah. and then it has, and then it says Dave Thomas, and it said founder, <laughs> but somebody ripped off the O, so it just says Dave Thomas funder. <laughs> Which, to be fair, still tracks. Everyone in that Wendy's went, oh, we have to replace the oh, maybe, maybe he did yeah. it. Do you think Dave Thomas Maybe came, he said, think of me as a funder, a not fun a founder. <laughs> I put the fun until in founder. Until its evil daughter took over. Oh, oh no. Man. Now Wendy rules with an iron fist. Uh, and no pretzels. <laughs> For my first decree. Oh, no. I banish all pretzels no! from my kingdom. And then they fall into a realm. It sucks. The shadow realm. Oh, shit. Uh, Wendy's big bacon cheddar chicken sandwich. A juicy, lightly breaded chicken breast covered in creamy cheddar cheese and bacon jam topped with applewood smoked bacon, crispy onions, sliced American cheese on a pillow soft toasted cheddar bun. If the world runs out of bacon and cheese, we'll take the blame. What about pretzels, huh? What about pretzels? Yeah. Look, yeah. what yeah. if we run out of pretzels? That's, they're teasing the us here. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'm getting they're I'm well, getting hot and bothered. I just oh, hey, I just get, don't oh, know what we did. Out. To anger Wendy's. Yeah, I don't. What? We only what? spoke positively. Uh, it's one of my favorite fast food restaurants, <laughs> and that's a very short list. Was my only my only assumption is like we helped them out too much. They weren't prepared for the like the. Yep. They're trying to like positive yeah. uh, endorsement, and, and people are trying to like just, keep us at arm's length. Well, here's the thing. I bet I think. They don't want a Popeye situation where people start stabbing each other yeah. over the the pretzel pubs. Mm -hmm. So they decided, "Fuck, we're running out." Instead of just having uh, low inventory, we mm -hmm. gotta just right. We gotta cancel it. Yeah. Other than well, they just, didn't, just they, have it, and they be didn't out even of it. cancel it. It just slowly, slowly. No, I mean, they died. they canceled it. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Little nothing. Guy? Nothing. Just nothing. Oh, okay. It's nothing. Something's happening. No, I, I um, Nick, I'll, I'll have you know. In his attempt to cross oh. something out, he's, he's just he, highlighting. He's inadvertently <laughs> highlighted. He's just used a highlighter no. to emphasize no. what and where we're to not, read. But we're not. No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. That's what well, we. But, we, but no. we haven't gotten through the press material. No, yet, no, no. no. So. Let's well, just get through. Let's get through this real yeah. quick. Then. What do you mean? Uh, quote: uh -huh. As the home. Of the number one bacon cheeseburger asterisk. I don't know. That asterisk was connected to nothing <laughs> on this quote. Because <laughs> you, you know. You follow it. It's like when we say number one, we mean in our hearts. <laughs> right. uh, we had a desire to dial up what we do best and create a flavorful pub fair. Pub fair. Well, fuck you. Pub fair. You yep. already had pub that. Fair. That's what I'm saying. You already created it, yep. you dumb fuck. Yep. Oh, that's Nick. Dude. He's fucking dude. mad. Dude, he's crumpling paper and then uh, and, and then, then <laughs> furiously looked for the trash can because he didn't want to throw it on the floor. Missed threw it, it, on, threw the it on the floor anyway. <laughs> now I picked it up, threw it in again. Mm -hmm. He's angry, but he's not angry enough to litter. Yeah, let me just pause right here. Yeah, uh, I did not care about the pubs. Not at all. No, I, you were a Jordan a a fuck. Yes. I couldn't care You're less. The reason that it's, it's gone. so low. Yeah, Michael gave it a one fifteen. <laughs> So I mean, is you're the true? reason. Yeah, yeah, you gave. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't seem legal. <laughs> doesn't seem right. Someone should have stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone tried. Where was the rhino? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley Tucci's here to enforce the rules. <laughs> oh, he's the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in as the rhino. And can't score it that high. Oh no. Uh, yeah, you don't give a shit about it, but they're teasing. They're rubbing it your fucking face. That's crazy. I like. Yeah, I. This was just kind of funny. Yeah. And like, like, man, you guys are mad. Ha ha ha. But I'm starting to get offended well, myself. They're making fun of you as a hero. Yeah. They're they're calling into question, like, just us as an establishment. Mm -hmm. Pathetic. Wendy's, why? Yeah. I didn't I didn't want you to do this. Uh, they wanted to create a flavorful pub style, uh, pub fair style sandwich featuring more bacon, more cheddar, and more innovation. No, no more innovation bun. than a pretzel. Yeah. You didn't. What the fuck? You put cheese on the bun. Look in the mirror, Wendy's. You had it already. You know who we have to blame for this? John Lee, Vice President of Culinary Innovation yep, true. at the Wendy's Company. Man, I want that job. The result is an unexpected, I'm totally unexpected, melt in your mouth sandwich with huge craft flavors that deliver on our promise of always being craveable and affordable. They did it again with craft. The mm -hmm. other one had craft beer. Mm -hmm. Cheese. It's fucked up. <laughs> the hints are there. Mm -hmm. It's just. It, it, you know, you read between the lines, it says, fuck Face Jam, fuck we got you, them. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Anyone who listens to their podcast, make sure you keep tweeting Damn, at Eric dude. that uh, you can't get it anymore, though. Yeah, it, it, I think we talked about it because it's not, them eliminating it is what you were saying earlier. It's been a slow roll, and it's not at every restaurant all at once. It is like, 
It's been going away for months. It has been. Because I heard whispers of it before it hit whispers, here. Whispers, whispers, whispers. And then we lost it, and now people are still finding out. Like, as of recording finding this. Finding out, finding out. Yep. Stop, you're going to activate the Tucci. He's going to hear that. My Tucci's tingling. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a good it's a good name. It's a good show. <laughs> I just, it's, why would you get rid of, like, your number one sandwich? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We formed a lot of enemies. Mm-hmm. Along the way here, mm-hmm. some definitely warranted during the monks, mm-hmm. but this well, one is like I don't want to hate Wendy's, but they're making it hard. That that's the thing, right? To defend it them. Jack in the Box made me angry. This right. made me depressed. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. it was just like, yeah, that's, oh, do you want to go to Wendy's? And you're like, no. Well, like I'm not I'm gonna get. I got I got a little heated in this podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay, but in general. When? I'm, I don't remember. I'm that. just disappointed. Well, when when they started rubbing it in our face, and mm-hmm. we we ate essentially what I was calling the king slayer. Yes, mm. that's that's what the cheddar, uh, the big bacon cheddar sandwich is. It's the king slayer. You've yep. you've slain the king. You've committed regicide yep. to bring in this sandwich. And on the uh, day of his wedding, right? Will it will it uh, compete? My thought was, there's no way. There's no way. Before I ate it, I thought there's no way they'll still be as good. You know, mm-hmm. we'll find out soon. Right. But they could have had both. Yeah. Why? Why choose? I mean, we can get add it. another one. We can get into it right now. We well, can we talk no, about we getting, getting, getting the food. food. We can. Yeah. We, we can. We just go right food. into reviewing the food. Jordan, uh, what did Eric think about getting the food? Uh, the little Caesars we ordered from you... always knocks it out of the park. Thanks, little C's. Mm-hmm. Lil C's. Well, so is that what it said last week? I don't remember that. I'm sure no, it, it did. It did, and uh, you just didn't read it. Don't worry, because because this is the part I think. This, is, you this guys, is about where I check out. Usually, yeah, this, this is where you guys. Oh, I'm wait. I'm done after the fact. <laughs> I don't read anything ever after that. I forget every episode uh-huh. that there's the whole like the, the garbage. Rest, the, at the rest end. of it. Yeah. There uh-huh. was something I down here. Like, he wanted watch us this and click this. And he wanted this. us to talk about something. And I thought he was highlighting that. And no, he highlighted a mistake. That's not highlighting. No, I, I crossed it out. Well, when Why you, is it well, green when you can, then? When you can read it even yeah, better think, and yeah. it's a color. No, I crossed it out. The very definition of a highlight. So it was pretty crazy getting the food wacky. Do you think when Stanley Tucci becomes the rhino, uh-huh. he says, welcome to the jungle? Yeah, do- <laughs> Here comes the stampede. Uh-oh. But it's just him? It's just him. It's just him. Damn. That's are we, when crazy. we, when we are picturing him as the rhino, are we picturing him, picturing him in like the mechanical suit thing or as like the 1960s cartoon I was where he's in a green suit? I was just thinking of an actual rhino is what I'm picturing. Oh. Him. Like I- almost in a, uh. A- animorphs oh. type scenario. Oh, whoa! Uh, yeah, maybe he, maybe, maybe still the maybe still the head mm-hmm. of of Stanley Tucci I, the horn on the run. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I was picturing like that '90s cartoon, like you know, like the big. He looks kind of like the Juggernaut, like the big, big yeah, one. Right. But it's that size. Oh, but sure. But then Stanley Tucci, his regular size is inside of that costume, so it's just big and drapey on oh. him. And he goes, oh. and he goes he's like, oh. yeah, <laughs> his kind of like the head hole. Around. The head hole is like twice the size, but his head is sticking out of it. And he goes, hmm. Behave. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Girdle your loins. <laughs> <laughs> so what what rhino were you picturing? Uh I was the the really uh I think it's the one from like the 60s. And I think it's the same thing where it's like a onesie. Yeah. Uh, and then just the guy's head. Yeah, guy's head. Yeah, yeah. But, but you think it fits. You're yeah, like, I was picturing it fit because, you know, he's like, he's really strong. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. He's he's like, he's like kind of shredded. Just something that really accentuates yeah. all his subtleties. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're like form fitting. Oh, I just I like the I like the idea. I, I like the idea of it I being too big for him. Big, like, you can't you know? see his hands. He's like, oh, like, my daddy's clothes. Yeah, like exactly. he looked pretty. Like he was pretty big and shoot him up. Is he in shoot him up? Yeah, he was the bad guy. Was he really? Uh huh. I don't remember that. That's okay. Huh. It's Clive Owen and yeah, no, I remember that Monica Bellucci. Huh. I don't remember him being the bad guy. Did you say Monica Blue Cheese? No, Ma- Monica, Monica Lewinsky. Lewinsky. <laughs> I said, oh. Yeah, it was Clive Owen. Shoot him up with Stanley Tucci, Clive uh-huh. Owen, and Monica Lewinsky. Wait, isn't Clive Owen playing Bill Clinton in that? Well, yeah, and this was... <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Are we going to see his dick? We're getting impeached. <laughs> Are we going to see his dick? Fingers, Is he taking it out? Fingers crossed. Is he going to go... <laughs> it's my classic Clive. <laughs> <laughs> he's like looking at the outfit and he's like, right. I don't see any stains. And he bites a carrot <laughs> and his vision gets better. And he goes, Oh shit, <laughs> my jeez. <laughs> huh. And leave it. There you go. <laughs> no one will know what it It'll is. It'll be fine. I'll just say it's toothpaste. <laughs> 
I'll say it's ivermectin and it got everywhere. <laughs> Anyway, the food. <laughs> Let's the this food, food, though. Okay. Yep. Um, so, yeah, we got the burger. We got the chicken sandwich. We got the spicy chicken sandwich, mm-hmm. which I wanted to say, the show started out with us being on opposite ends of the spectrum of liking fast food and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I thought there wasn't going to be a whole lot of one of us convincing the other of something. But one thing you've always said that has won me over now is- We're heroes? Well, that that goes without saying. like. That was already obvious. You really took that to heart. <laughs> <laughs> I really ran with that one. Here. I really needed, I needed the self-esteem boost. <laughs> Michael said we're heroes. Yes. Uh, it's that the cheeseburger should be the default, and I agree with that applying to the spicy chicken. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's the yes. default. Yeah. yeah. You subtract from there. Mm-hmm. Right. And you so that's, that's why I think whenever we get the, the chicken sandwich, it needs to be spicy. Yeah. But- I took a bite of the hamburger first, and knowing that that one was going to be inferior to the spicy chicken version, I took about two bites and started feeling a little nauseous. <laughs> so I decided, Whoa. that's about enough of that. Oh, Jesus, wow. There was something really weird. It, like, it smelled weird. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know what yeah, it, it was. Like, smell like Wendy's. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think I just don't like their burgers. Mm-hmm. Right. That was probably the pub fair style. This, oh, oh, yeah. It was... Yeah, and they Jordan thought he was e at, at the, the end. Um, <laughs> my 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 old putting it together. All mm-hmm. right, you got mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I you got, got it. it. No, no, got no, no, it. no, no, no. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah, you're just not laughing yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Uh, but uh, yeah. So then I went to the chicken sandwich, and uh, the cheese on the bun is interesting. It's not a pretzel bun. That is the one thing I liked about. The pretzel pub. Oh, you like the best part. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything else in the middle, I could have done without. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the bun, though. But, like, I didn't get any Hard. anything special about the flavor or, you know, I got the spicy chicken, which I love. I would have been happy with just a spicy chicken sandwich, mm-hmm. which is what I usually get. I don't think I needed the bacon or the bacon jam, which I didn't. Did anyone... Like, I don't know where it began. Where is it? <laughs> where? I don't know. At no point did I go, oh, the bacon jam. Well, that, I think that's where Nick looked at it and went, is this pimento cheese? And it's like, no, that's bacon jam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That hey, is cheese. Wow. Whoa. I did, I, I, Yo. You remembered pimento. Mm. He said something, and I went, I guarantee you it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this pimento? Is this Asiago? Like, no. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's fucking yellow. It's jam a sauce. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I would have thought he would have been excited then. I think then. bacon jam is probably a sauce, yeah. right? What else would it be? Yeah. Jam. That's, I don't, hmm. That, bringing us back to the question, is jam sauce? Yeah, I don't, I don't, th- it's weird. I don't think of bacon jam as jam jam. Right. I think they're just fucking around with the word jam. Like us. Oh. He got it. Yeah. He's a big fan of it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it was a revelation. Yeah. Oh I have to go. <laughs> uh, as usual, having to rate both of them, it's going to be weighed down a little bit by yeah, the hamburger. Weighed down. Yep. I thought I thought the uh, chicken version was better, mm-hmm. but overall, average. Uh, so it's getting a 39. Wow. Okay. Harsh. And some of that has to do with how pissed off I am at Wendy's. Yeah, I get that. Uh, before Michael gets to the rating, I think what you're saying about the, the cheeseburger being default and the spicy chicken at Wendy's should be the default. There are so many people that get the hamburger, it's fucking crazy. It's insane that people are getting the hamburger. When you have that chicken yeah. at that quality, at that flavor, at that taste. like I don't know to, how they nailed it. They they caught lightning in a bottle. They really did. It is the thing they do better, I think, than anyone else. Yes. It, and there's people getting the cheeseburger. That's the reason we get the cheeseburger here also. Like... I could be happy never eating it again. I I agree. The cheeseburger. Yes. But but it is at Wendy's. They push that. Che- hey, it's, it's the number one. It is. It must that's, sell the most. That's uh, their asterisk. fucking thing. That's what, well, I meant menu mm, number. They are. <laughs> Not they rating. are all about like. <laughs> Maybe that's what the answer is. Like, number one on our menu. If you, look at, if you look at the combo numbers. <laughs> Technically, it's number one. Yeah, I mean that's the reason we get the cheeseburger. Also, when we go to this place. The chicken's better. Hands Chicken down. is better. Hamburger sucks. Mm-hmm. I I'm a big fan of cheese. Mm-hmm. Love me some cheese, right? Chicken is very uh, middle of the road. Sometimes it comes with cheese. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, mm. 
It's like combining chicken and cheese. You can yeah, you, you can get a lot of places where the chicken sandwich doesn't have cheese on it. Yeah, right. And I think even Wendy's, like yeah. the standard chicken sandwich doesn't have cheese. But if you you know like this combo is it's not like a crazy concoction. It's offered with chicken has cheese. I think that it's like you're a maniac if you get a hamburger, right? If you don't mm -hmm. get cheese on a burger, something wrong with you. Yeah. I I can see not getting cheese on chicken. Yeah. I prefer it, yes. but it makes much more sense than a burger. But the cheese on this was just weird. The cheese bun, I don't know how to describe it. It's cheddary, but it's a fucking bun. It's, it's so like weird. They, they cooked it into it. Yeah. But like it's kind of reminiscent. Very poorly. Like part of it was like overhanging on mine and yes. it like tore off. It's and like it's looked like it had like melted plastic. Of like when you get the cheese bread sub sandwich. Right? Oh, it's yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. It but, just like that. But it's more intense. Mm -hmm. It felt like powdery, mm. right? Like it's more intense and it's like more of the food, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, usually at a sub sandwich, there's so many other components. Mm -hmm. But the bread on the bun, it just felt more impactful. And it was like, oh, this is weird. It like so packed the, more flavor. Right. The cheddar yeah. cheese with the American cheese with the non cheese jam. It was all very weird, and it, I don't and know the, how- the cheese in there is like little tiny slice, like uh, shredded cheese. It was, it, I don't know, it melted. I didn't know yeah. how to describe it, right? Mm -hmm. It didn't, it, it was a weird cheese. Mm -hmm. I just, I, yeah. it wasn't like, oh my God, this is cheesy and I love it. Um, all the other shit's fine. I will say, I do love the crispy onions. Oh yeah, at Wendy's, mm -hmm. I feel like that was that was probably my second favorite thing on the pretzel pub, yep. was those crispy onions. I think they should be on every sandwich. But um, yeah, it just tasted like okay, spicy chicken, crispy onions are good, bacon. Didn't even notice the bacon jam, and the cheese is weird. This is weird tasting cheese, uh, and you've destroyed everything to make this. At what cost? Right? What did, like, what did it cost? Like at yep. least Thanos got all the Infinity Stones. Mm -hmm. Wendy's right. got this sandwich, right? <laughs> like you killed your daughter, the Pretzel Pub sandwich for this. Yep. He pushed her off a cliff or whatever the fuck you did. Terrible. This is crazy. Um, should have just pushed the robot. Should have pushed, robot. Push, yeah. pushed the fucking robot. She would have been fine. Yeah. And I'm just like. The robot is the pretzel, is the is the jalapeno popper. That's the one. popper. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Sacrifice yeah, that yeah. one. It's like, yeah, like Android. Yeah, right? that's, that's the, the Karen. I, I don't think you could get robot. away with just a robot because mm -hmm. it wouldn't count. But she's a cyborg. She's a cyborg. Yeah, like as long as like the one eye is yep. good. Mm -hmm. Why did they um, call the androids in Dragon Ball Z androids when they were clearly cyborgs? Because it's fucking stupid. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, with, go, I gotta go with Michael on no, this. No, I'm with you there. Yeah, You're yeah. right, bro. They were straight up people. Mm. They were, yeah. They grabbed two people yeah. and added parts uh -huh. and then said Android. That's a cyborg, yeah. 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 Right. But then they called them. <laughs> Maybe they were just did want to step on Cyborg 009's toes. Mm. Oh. And they were like, we didn't. They, Don't they want to like, enter they that. They were like, space. Cyborg 009 is very litigious. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't want to fuck with them, even though it's like totally different shows. It's certainly been around. Cyborg way 009 you know. has an automated. <laughs> Oh no, he's just sending yeah. lawsuits. Yeah, it's an algorithm. I mean, Cyborg <laughs> Cyborg 7 is literally a robo lawyer. Oh shit. So, they didn't want to fuck with fuck, fuck with that smart. one. Uh, so in summation, yeah. I'm angry <laughs> and I'm going to give it a 25. Wow. wow. This is this the first episode where Michael has rated it lower than Jordan? I don't think. No. Probably by that much. By that much. That's like a difference um, of 15. I'm angry. 14 to 15. <laughs> That's a 32 average score oh, and nailed it. and it I deserves think it. Me and Nick were walking into the room. You guys were uh, kind of getting ready or whatever. And we both just said. We were tickling each other's Tucci's. Yeah. <laughs> we were Tucci'ing it up. And uh, pretty cool. And uh, we both said the same thing. It was so middle of the road that it wasn't even like. Here's the thing. It's middle of the road. Mm -hmm. But then you consider what was lost. Exactly. This, 100%. And it becomes yep. lower. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, in, it in context. Yeah. Yep. It, it, when a, I, a bummer. When you. Uh, first posted this that they made this. Mm -hmm. My immediate reaction was, "This, this replaced the fucking uh, pretzel the, pub, pub. the pretzel yeah. pub." And Jordan got very excited, and he was like, "I'm gonna love this." <laughs> and, then I, and then I said, "No, you won't." Yeah. And he went, "Now nah, you're right, I yeah. won't." <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I, I'm really, I'm really like. Eating those words even more because, like, this whole episode, yeah. Wendy's has been. I know, insulting I know. Insulting me. He he thought he was gonna get joy just out of our uh like 
Yeah, out of your suffering. Yeah, yeah and now they're suffering. throwing me under and the bus, you, too. And then you got dragged down, too. Uh, look, they're not get, I'm not going to say they're getting banned, but no, you're on notice. They're, they're on thin ice. Hi, guys. Found something interesting for Snack Attack. It's technically not a limited edition thing. That's fine. It's just the snacks. But they only put stuff like this out for Easter. Nick's clapping. I can't see it, but he I can. He loves Easter. He's going Favorite nuts. holiday. So it's he is risen. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> And have a happy Easter? What? Although to be realistic, given the backlog of backlog of snacks you would have to go through to get to this one, it's more like happy 4th of July. <laughs> well, uh, close. Happy Labor Day. <laughs> Either way, I hope it's not too terrible. Not to worry, though, in any case, they suck. I have included a tried and true classic, but not exactly like you're used to seeing them. Can't send you something too normal. After all, the show isn't about eating regular stuff. Anyways, enjoy the snacks, and thanks for putting out such a great podcast. Sincerely, Ken Churgin. So Ken oh, sent great. us a Reese's egg from Easter egg. and a milk chocolate <laughs> Jesus Christ, dino huge. egg. Yeah. This guy is shoved the whole fucking egg in yep. his mouth. <laughs> he showed me first and then just fucking gobbed it oh, down. God. This this Reese's one is hilarious because they this shit's they, too big, they, bro. they put it in a case where it's like, look at this yep. whole egg you have, and then you pull it's, it out. It's, it's half, half. It's half, half an egg. <laughs> up. They tricked um, you. Is there, is, di- me sick is there a dinosaur in the egg? Uh, yeah. So Michael uh, doesn't like sweets. Is that right? Well, it's not that I don't like them. Uh huh. I'm just not. Oh, mine's broken. I oh. <laughs> I don't need them. Yep. I don't look for them. Mm-hmm. I gotta be in a real particular mood to eat them. <laughs> uh-huh. And let me throw this at you. Uh-huh. I went to the Museum of Ice Cream the last oh, yeah. two days in a row. Oh my god! And so my my sweets have been substantially filled. Right. And now you've given me a three foot tall chocolate egg. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, that is a That's thick shell, bro. This is dense. That's a lot of chocolate. One time I ate. A half pound Reese's cup. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I got pretty sick after. Yeah, I mean, it's no five pound gummy bear, but I mean, I just ate the head though. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's a Reese's cup. It, yep, it it's is, very but good. but it's like a very it's thick, thick chocolate it's shell. Thick. Like you got to get halfway through this before it starts having the uh, oh god. the ratio oh, you oh, need oh, for oh. actual Reese's cup. Too fucking big. <laughs> it's dude. way too big. I mean, like. Maybe you can save it for later if you hold on to this plastic. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is insane to eat in one go. Huh? This is fucking insane. I took one bite, my stomach already hurts. So wait, was this the normal thing? What's, uh-huh. the, what's the weird thing? The egg? Oh, the dino egg is the weird thing. Mm-hmm. Meat baby Sarah. Is this Michael Sarah? Yeah, that's Michael Sarah. <laughs> was there a baby rhino we can eat? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a rhino. Yeah. I'm a rhino great-great-grandfather. Oh, I'm so sad it's hollow. Yeah, me too. Uh, Boy, that fucking Reese's one ain't. Nope. That Reese's thing is fucking insane. This one's a little- Whoa, there's a baby inside? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all... Oh, shit! <laughs> it's a little more manageable. Yeah! So this one is like an egg that opens, yeah. which is chocolate. Mm-hmm. And then there's another sealed chocolate yep. inside. I don't know why it's sealed. I guess so it doesn't like melt into the egg. Mm-hmm. I feel like you could have thrown it in there not sealed. This is how baby dinosaurs- Bro, Used this is this is a fucking portrait of Stanley Tucci right here. <gasps> you just got tooched. You just got tooched. That's a good ass picture. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the super serum. Mm-hmm. This is Niagara by Frey chocolate. I don't. Never heard of it. No, a good mind. man can become <laughs> great. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> he really liked that. He loved it. <laughs> I like the dinosaur more than the, the Reese's egg. Oh, really? uh, I th- yeah, I think the dinosaur what? is probably better. It's Nick just just, just an eating experience. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of it's those things fun. of like it's easy. If I had eat. to do like a one bite and review, mm-hmm. which technically is what we're like doing, like some sort yes. of snack Correct. attack. Uh-huh. <laughs> but <laughs> if you think of it in the real world scenario, like mm-hmm. boots on the ground eating chocolate, yeah. Like in the midst, this would be better. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is gonna eat this? Whole I have no thing? idea. It's too. It's insane. Know. Besides this monster. Oh, he yeah. He looked. He's you going, said that, going, and then he looked over at me like this. Mm-hmm. He's gonna eat all of them today. <laughs> yeah, and I and stop he's gonna go, oh, oh, oh my gosh! Why did I do that? Hurts. I should have stopped at three eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, this is just this is straight up 
run of the mill chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. It's a chocolate. It's yep. like a milk chocolate. Uh, Hollow Easter egg dinosaur. I mm -hmm. give I give dino egg. Jesus loved dinosaurs. You got it. It's together. Oh, both of them. Oh together? yeah. Oh, it's together. Oh, it's good. Oh. Um, you got it. It's together. Oh, seventy five. Seventy five. Okay. Man, I was thinking like forty eight. <laughs> okay, say forty eight. I don't give a shit. Man. Do whatever you want. Sixty one point five. I, I don't like it when you go first. You put the ivermectin in here. That's like, you close it up and that, then you give it to your horse. It sounds. Oh. It's, uh, uh, oh, and then damn. you did that, and wait, I don't wait. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it sounds plastic when you close it. This is food. Yep. <laughs> You're listening to food. <laughs> oh, wow! That's crazy. That's still food. That felt like it was in my brain. Uh, that was fucking oh, this nuts. can be inside you oh, if it's, you want. Uh, yeah, full oh. ivermectin. Uh, ooh, horse flavor. Uh, guys, you want to send us snacks? You can. You send them to Face Jam Care of Eric Bedore, 1901 East 51st Street, Oxen. Oxen? <laughs> Oxfordshire, uh, oh, yeah. Austin, Texas, seven eight seven two three. Uh, we're getting through a lot of our snacks, so if you want to send some stuff, send them, and then we'll probably get some new stuff soon. We get it's a bar, part of this big office move. There's a lot going on, so I don't think we'll lose anything. We're looking for more snacks soon. Hope we don't lose anything. Hey, what? You, you know what came out today? Breaking okay. news! Hit it. Uh, He's always ready. This God guy. Damn, That's dude. what I love about him. <laughs> What's well, good is to have the button seven clicks away. Right. Uh, uh, Hit it, Eric. Hey, <laughs> you know what came out today? No. Face Jam secret menu. What? Well, if you're a first member, you're getting it on the Rooster Teeth site right now. But if if you want to watch it on uh, Tuesday when the episode comes out, wherever you get your podcasts and everything, it's on our YouTube channel. It's also on YouTube for free. Are you uh, making right? this uh, up? On the Rooster Teeth site for free. I don't remember nope. doing this. Uh, did so we film this yet? Yes, we did. And uh, if it didn't come out today, then disregard this. Oh. But if it did come you out today. You seem so confident it was coming out. Put all your dino Monday. eggs in one basket, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it sounded should, plastic and should, they came inside me. It was fucked up. Should have put it in the Reese's uh, one. So. Yeah, it did. Face Jam Secret Menu is a show we're, we're kind of doing a little taste test on mm. where. Uh, we have some new ideas, some stuff for the show that we just kind of want to fuck around and do because we like doing Face Jam. We're like, well, how else can we just do... Here's the thing. Face Jam. We like doing Face Jam, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. a little too laid back. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Too chill. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we wanted to do it's something too, with a little more energy. It's too easy to get into these, like, Stanley Tucci oh, rambles. It's just the old humdrum. It's like, well, how was yeah. Face Jam? Well, they talked about the rhino again. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're saying... You're saying that a Face Jam secret menu has high energy, and it does. For compared to this show, three quarters of it, I would say the last quarter of Face Jam secret menu is three or four very <laughs> sleepy people. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's still full. It's three or four very sleepy people going, uh, and then talking about the food they ate. Uh, so secret menu is a show where we are going around and exposing the secrets of these restaurants. Secrets revealed. Yeah. To, at, at our own peril. Right. And here's yeah. the thing. They don't want you to know, they, but, but we do. We're, we're about bringing, to bring in the truth. We're going to blow the lid right off this thing. I'm gripping the fuck out of this microphone yeah, because I am eager to see what happens with Face Jam Secret Menu because if, I'll just say it, in and out finds out about this shit, you might be fucked. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You can tell how unscripted it is by the number of times someone says, this is going straight to the top. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's maybe three times yeah. it's said. We all just ignore that we're saying it because we all want to say it. We all just get excited. <laughs> We've latched onto a phrase and decided that that's what we're going to do. <laughs> this comes from the top. Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like... Eric Eric walks in and says, hey guys, and we go, holy shit. <laughs> I love the way the video starts where you two are interrogating each other. Oh, <laughs> look, it's it's when you watch a show that's a new show, uh -huh. a pilot episode, yep. you, if you expect some sort of uh, intro or prologue of what you, what's happening, mm -hmm. you don't get it here. No. <laughs> no. I couldn't in be, in I fact, couldn't this be is it. Happier. You have to listen to this first. <laughs> this is more of a prologue than yep. anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If you were to show it to someone, they'd say, where's the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> and you say, no, this is it. Oh, it just started. It's an hour and five minutes into this other podcast <laughs> that I listened to. Yeah, well, that's that's the little tease. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so check it out on, again, Face Jam's YouTube channel and on uh, Rooster Teeth. So you can see it there. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Only if it's good, though. Yeah, only leave positive comments. Who, who leaves fucking negative comments? Some fucking idiot. Stanley Tucci? No! The oh, Wendy. Tucci. Never. Oh, Wendy does. The Tucci, the Tucci would never leave a negative comment. Uh, <laughs> but Wendy would. So if you see a negative comment, know that's Wendy in disguise. It doesn't even matter if you've seen the username before. So if you want to check it out, let us know. I hope you like it. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Face Jam Pod. Stay up to date with everything. We'll have some more information on our upcoming road trip as well uh, over the next month or so. So uh, uh, I hope you uh, I hope you follow us. You liked it. Lady in the Water was his best work. That's right. <laughs> Lady in the Lake. Lady in the Water. Winter's Bone. I think it was in the water, right? I liked when he played Julia. That Child's one guy husband. had that one guy had a mm. big arm. He was nice. We got merch too. Oh, that's right. Oh, Crackle no. hat. That's right. You can go to store.roosterteeth.com for all your Face we Jam needs. We the outro. Oh, no. Don't worry. The, uh, we'll, we'll do it again. Yeah. The Face Jam uh, retro collection is there. Sauce Monkey shirt, the compliments Crackle hat, Donkey Muscle shirt. Buy it. Uh, yeah, get all of it. And you can also get the uh, the uh, the Monkey Meal Box still there, So, which uh, I really recommend. I love the Monkey Meal Box. There you go. He's clapping for it. <laughs> I'm going to buy him a rhino head. <gasps> Tucci style? Just... Are we gonna have a sauce no, rhino? No, it's, just a, it's a cosplay. Okay. Oh. Okay. oh. Well, so he has. Oh, if that's the case, then he has to put it on over, over the monkey the head. Mon Interesting. Of course. That's incredible. I love it. Can't wait to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. He's, well, he's, he's already he's, on his he's phone. Search your name is on every right screen. now. All right. Uh -huh. Tune in and. I got Two dinosaur egg on my phone. <laughs> oh, no. oh, man. Talk about egg on your this face. This was supposed to be inside Eric by now. No, oh, no. All right. Rate and subscribe. Tell a friend about the show where we eat the food and rate the food. Don't send it to anyone who likes Wendy's anymore. Yep. So mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found a Scooby mask. <laughs> like scuba? Scooby-Doo. Yeah, Scooby-Doo. You thought he meant scuba mask? I wasn't sure what a Scooby mask would have looked like, but I, there it is. Hey, you hey, weren't? hey, Michael, I knew right away what a Scooby mask would yeah. look like. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. You got me over here agreeing with this guy. <laughs>